Greetings. Uh, back on December 1st of 2022, I put out two videos. The first one was titled DNA Methodology, Boom Church and Ancient DNA Origins. And the second one was titled More Curious Screenshots. And the general theme of those videos was that Will Brown had made some allusions to the results that he got on uh, Iran El Hayek's Ancient DNA Origins platform. And I felt that those allusions were potentially misleading, though not necessarily intentionally so. Now, how However, Yashub from the Genesis 49ers channel had taken the same test that Will Brown had taken with uh, Eran El Hayek's platform, and I took it for granted that Yashub's result would allow us to infer how Will Brown's results likely looked, because I felt that they would roughly mirror each other. And shortly thereafter, Will Brown wound up being completely open and transparent with his results, and they wound up confirming that assumption that I mentioned, that, you know, that his results would mirror Yashub's results. And I wound up covering that in a video on December 3rd, uh, titled Genetic Proximity to Ancient Israel. Now, I mentioned those past videos because today I want to take a similar approach to a show which aired on Benaya Israel's channel, titled Ashkenazi DNA discussion with Dr. Eran El Hayek and Dr. Kelly Richardson. And in that video, neither Benaya nor Kelly showed their results from El Hayek's website, but Kelly made a vague passing reference to his results. So similar to those videos from last December, here too, I'm going to again look at what Yashub has publicly shared, and I'm going to attempt to use that to infer what Kelly and perhaps so too Benaya's results probably look like. So jumping right in, I'm going to play three brief clips from this show. And in the first clip, you can hear Benaya Israel endorsing Iran El Hayek's uh, approach, uh, no longer holding to a patrilineal definition of Israelite, Benaya is now explicitly challenging Ashkenazim to meet some unspecified genetic proximity to Palestinians. And he's doing this because El Hayek's position is that while Ashkenazim might be closer to Palestinians than, they say, the average Englishman might be, they are still significantly different from Palestinians and from ancient Levantine samples and more like populations in the Caucasus, for example. And so this first clip will run for a little less than a minute and a half, and you can see Benaya echoing uh, some of uh, El Hayek's approach and uh, fair use. At the end of the day, the, you know, if, if there's con some contention as to where, like for instance, you know, where the Jewish people come from, you know, if they want to, you know, validate, you know, their, their belonging to, you know, that land, validate them being, you know, Israelites or whatnot. The easiest way to do it, <laughs> the easiest way to do it is just to do a simple uh, genetic distance test. Like, that's it. Like, you don't have to, you know, climb onto the, to the top of Mount Everest. You don't need to do some super, you know, some, some super complex um, computation. You know, I would I would say, you know, it's my, my challenge, you know, to to those that would, um, you know, that would want to argue to say that, you know, of course, like the Ashkenazi are are, in fact, the, uh, you know, the, the original indigenous population of Israel. I would just simply say then simply compare your DNA to the the group or mm -hmm. the um, that's in Georgia, in Russia, Georgia. Yeah, yeah. that's it. And yeah. just say, See if it's close. Is it closer to you know to Russia, Georgia, or is it closer to the um, you know to the Palestinians? So yes. That's what okay. So having seen that, the immediate question should become. If one is going to subject Ashkenazim and other Israelite claimants to these genetic distance tests, what might be the right tool for the job? So in this next clip, Benaya seems to clearly endorse El Hayek's site as the appropriate tool for that task. So again, fair use. Okay. So this is a this is another you know another game another game changer in that you know you're able to check or compare your DNA to um, you know to some of the ancient DNA that's extracted from from the archaeological sites from you know I guess various places in Israel. So at this point, if Benaya and perhaps tacitly Kelly are challenging Ashkenazim and other Israelite claimants to check their distances on El Hayek's platform, that raises an important question. And that question is, what sorts of results did Benaya and Kelly get on that platform? You see, both gentlemen apparently purchased the full bundle package, which enables them to access all the kits on that site, but neither of them have shown their results. However, in this next clip, 
Kelly makes a vague allusion to getting 15% on the Tribe of Levy kit. Here, listen to this. And again, fair use. And I appreciate it. Um, and to uh, Benia's point, I, I went to your site, uh, The Ancient DNA Origins, and um, I actually purchased the entire package for, you know, to get everything, you know, all the results. And I did see, and I know it's going through uh, some, some, you know, some upgrades and changes along the way. But I, I did see, uh, for example, uh, a connection, for example, to the Levites. Uh, and, you know, can, can you, you know, kind of uh, share a little more information on that? Because I did see the Levites and I know early on I saw some of the other tribes, but, uh, you know, uh, some of them kind of uh, disappeared, but the Levites are there. So can you shed some light on that? Absolutely. So uh, first, you didn't uh, disclose what similarity you had, and I respect that. It's your results. I can only share that some members of the community emailed me, and they said they have 20% Levite. Uh, yeah, I think mine's was 15%. Really now, as you heard El Hayek point out, Kelly didn't actually show his results. And as for getting 15%, a question needs to be asked. Did he mean that he got 15% in the Israelite section of the general categories? Or does he mean that he scored 15% against an individual sample within the relevant kit? Right now, to explain this distinction, I'd like to turn to a show which aired on the Genesis 49ers channel just yesterday, just last night. You see, Yeshua purchased the Tribe of Levi kit, the same kit in which Kelly said he got 15% of something. So here's Yeshua showing his results. Right, my result. Drum roll, please. Let's see. I'm still 99.2%. <laughs> okay, I, I just want to pause this briefly to point out that Yeshub got listed by El Hayek site as 0% Israelite in the general categories. Kelly's cousin, Will Brown, got the same result on El Hayek site. And I have to wonder if Kelly and even Benaya likewise got that result. But whatever the case, let's now continue uh, with this video clip and look at what Yeshub got when compared to individual samples. What was it supposed to do again? Oh, there we go. Down here. I forgot this part. Okay. Genetic similarity to the tribes of Israel, Levi. So I guess this is what they're raving about here. Hofni. 14% genetic similar similarity. Uh, Pesha, Aviva, Batka, Harun, Sered, Ada. See genetic similarity to the tribes of Levi. Left the left chart shows in black your highest genetic sim similarity to ancient individuals in the test, and your average genetic similarity to all the individuals in the test. Hey, so boo, this is probably what uh, this is probably what uh, what Kelly was talking about. He had a fifteen percent connection or something. It was probably on on, on on this part here. Yeah. So, so Kelly, if you're watching, what are that 86% of who are those uh, people in the 80, 86 percentile region here? Okay, so as was alluded to by Orthodox Moore, there is an important distinction here. You can get listed as 0% Israelite in the general categories and yet still have some higher percentage connection with an individual sample within a given kit. So saying someone got 15% of something in one of El Hayek's tribal kits does not in itself tell us how one measures against El Hayek's Israelite ideal. Now, of course, some might wish to ask, how is it possible for one to be listed as 0% Israelite, yet somehow have 14 or 15% similarity with an individual sample within an Israelite tribal kit? And to answer that question, let's look at when Yashub showed the data on the individual sample that he matched with, or the, the individual sample which he had the highest uh, percentage match with. What was the one that, that, that matched up? That I was the closest to again. What was the name of her? Hoffney. Yeah, Hoffney. Yeah, yeah. H. Oh, half the group. This is a male. Oh, wow. Y oh, half the group T2. Yo, they say, hey, they basically saying Levi's a whole half of group T in this piece, man. So why does it say Neolithic Southeast African at 32%? 
Okay, so pausing that here, what's significant about what you see on your screen is that the samples also have complex admixtures, right? They're not simply listed as just 100% Israelite. So because a given sample can be listed as having some other type of admixture, you can actually connect to an individual sample through that, through that other admixture. And that is how one is able to get a partial match with an individual sample in an Israelite kit, even when the platform lists you as 0% Israelite. Now, before I close this video, I want to note one other important detail. You see, aside from the option to view your own results, a Hayek's platform also has an option which reads View Population-Wide Results, which enables you to see how your percentage matches against other modern populations. And you can even compare your percentage to the roughly typical percentage arrived at by Ashkenazim. So let's take a look at when Yashub showed that section. Hey, did they go to this part right here? Hold on, the wide, the wide, worldwide results or whatever, population wide they may, results. They may have. I didn't. I didn't see them. So I'm about fifteen percent or fourteen percent uh, similar to that one one individual. Um, a Bedouin from Israel is forty eight percent similar. From um, Jordan, a Jordanian is forty seven percent similar, and a Palestinian is forty six percent similar. See Turkey, yeah, I expect Turkey to be high too. Yeah, Druze, Turkey, Ashkenazi, Jew. Yeah, yeah, mm. I'm talking about the Ashkenazi. Oh, it's mm. right here, thirty nine percent is higher than is higher than my percentage. So therefore, they are more Jew or Israelite than I could ever be. Yo, see y'all, y'all never fair and across the board with this shit. Y'all always come up with these ideas like, oh well, this proves we're, we're Israelites. We okay? What about these other groups? Okay, and as was alluded to by Yashub, there's a question here of a consistent standard. Do Benaya and Kelly Richardson have a consistent standard? Right? If we're to hold to El Hayek's approach and assume that Ashkenazim typically hitting in the range of 39% against one of these tribes kits is so low as to disqualify them from being Israelites, shouldn't the even lower scores received by Kelly and his cousin disqualify them as well? And, and this is somewhat reminiscent of uh, previous discussions which were had about Jedmatch, where certain folks wanted to play games with Oracle, but were less comfortable or less enthusiastic with, you know, for example, comparing how they scored on the Natufian category in the Jedmatch proper, in that Jedrosia Ancient Eurasia calculator, and comparing that against how others, including Ashkenazim, scored in that same Natufian category, you know, on the same calculator. And if certain folks want to abandon a patrilineal definition of Israelite and instead try to measure people according to some vaguely defined auto Normal standard, there's still going to be questions about whether there's a consistent standard, you know, or whether the standard that they're invoking is being applied consistently. So if Kelly and Benaya want to push El Hayek's platform as the standard, then I would like to invite them to do what Yashub did. Clearly show your results in the general categories. And if you matched with an individual sample, show that and show how that sample scored across those same general categories, right? And then moreover, go to the population-wide results section and show how you stack up against Ashkenazim in the Turkey tab of the modern genetic uh, similarities portion. But if you're just going to declare that you don't have to prove anything to anyone, or if you're just going to hide your results, honestly, no one should take your claim seriously. And with that, I'll close this brief video here. Uh, hopefully this can be a, a, a stepping stone to further conversation on this topic. Uh, as always, I invite any comments, questions, or criticisms. I don't censor anyone here. So feel free to share your thoughts, whether positive or negative. And with that, God bless. And I had to come on here and show my homie support. You know what I'm saying? Because if I boo say ride, I'm a ride, nigga. If I boo say slide, I'm a slide on you, niggas, man. I was I was shocked that Dante was next on next on the chopping block. They hit Dante. Then they hit me, which is which is fine. And now, Benaya, who's next? Who's next? That's my next video. Who's next? Who's next? Who's next? Who's next? Who's next? Did he ever who's hurt next? You? I got milk, baby. Right. Next. Next. Who's next? Detroit.